everyone, it's Lara. So today I'm going to share with you the progress that I've made with my project pan. So let's start with the things I've used up. First, I have my primer. So I was working on the Tatcha, the silk canvas primer, and it is finished. Um, I did think this was okay. It wasn't my favorite. I didn't think it was all that great, but I enjoyed it while it lasted. I'm going to be replacing it with this Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. So I actually finished this up shortly after my last check-in. So I've been using this already and it's kind of almost done, so there's only a few more uses left in this. So I should definitely have this done by next check-in. The next thing I used up, which I'm really happy about, is my foundation. This took me forever and I kept thinking like, oh, this month is gonna be the month. This month is gonna be the month. But finally, I finished it. I scraped as much as I could out. Yeah, this foundation's just okay. It's not my favorite. And also, this shade's a bit too light for me. Um, I don't remember what the shade was. I think it was like F1. I'm going to be replacing it with this foundation by this brand that I have no idea how to say. Um, I think I tried petting this last year, um, but I had to stop using it because it's a bit dark. So it doesn't really work for me in the winter, but I'm starting to get a tan, so I figured I would try and use the last of this up while it's summertime. So it is down to here. The next thing I used up is this Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in Moonlight. I'm really glad I finished this. I don't really care for highlighters in general, especially liquid ones, but I did find a way to make this work that I really liked. So I had tried mixing it with my foundation. I didn't like it. Then I was just using it as a highlighter, but it was taking forever and it was fine that way. But then I saw somebody say that they mixed something like this with their primer. So I thought I would give that a try. And I mixed it with my primer and I really liked it that way. Much better than mixing it with the foundation. So that's how I was able to really get some good use out of that and finally finish it. I'm replacing it with this highlighter. This is the Benefit Watts Up highlighter. It's a stick, so it's about to there. I'm actually wearing it today. So first I put on my primer, then I drew this all over my face and buffed it in, and then I put my foundation on top, and I think it's fine. I think that's probably how I'll get the most use out of this. Um, yeah, I'm trying to go through all my highlighters because I just, I'm not a highlighter kind of person. This thing is my mascara. So I had a mini Better Than Sex Too Faced mascara. Okay, so I have a story about this one. So I have been using the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara for a while and I know that I like it. Um, but when I started using this one, it just seemed different to me. Like, it seemed like a lot drier than I remember. And, I mean, I did get it when they did that 75% clearance. I think it was the end of last year. And I thought maybe, like, okay, maybe it's just, you know, some of their old stock they're, they were getting rid of, so whatever. And, I mean, after, like, kind of pumping it a little bit, it mixed the product up and I didn't really think about it after that. I mean, it was fine. Still not like as good as I remember. Then, then I went to go put this in my um, empties bag and I was looking at the packaging and I realized that there's a date on this. And I was really confused because the date is kind of old. The date on this mascara is 2013, and I bought this in 2019, so yeah, it's like really old. That's like six years old. I don't know. I mean, like I said, I bought it 75% off, but still, six years old to pay for a mascara. I feel like that's a little on the much side. So then I was like, well, what about everything else I bought? Because I bought a lot of stuff during that sale. So the concealer I'm panning, I bought, it says 2016, so three years. I mean, I guess it's not that bad, but still it's like, 
a lot older than I thought. I thought it was going to be like maybe a year, but no. And then I bought an eyeliner and this mascara are from 2016. This primer is from 2017, so not that bad, but yeah, this mascara was definitely the oldest and like you could tell. I don't really know what to think about that. I mean, I didn't get like an infection or anything from it, so whatever, but what do you think? Did any of you buy stuff from Too Faced when they had that sale? Was your stuff really old too? Because I don't know. I don't know if that's right. Anyway, let's get back to the project pan. Okay, so I used up the mascara. You know, I do like Too Faced better than Sex Mascara when it's not six years old. And so I'm replacing it with this one. This one I also got from that sale. I mean, it's not as old as that one. So I feel like it's still fine. So I'm going to use that so I can get it used up. So the next thing I used up is also super exciting. It is my lip product. So I finally finished this tinted lip balm from Styly Style. I'm so happy. I actually really liked this. I mean, the packaging's kind of garbage, but um, yeah, I did really like this. It lasted a long time. It was super comfortable. And even after like the balm wore off, it like left a stain. So it did last a really long time. So I really liked this. So I started there and now it is finished. I am so happy. I'm going to be replacing it with this KVD Vegan Beauty liquid lipstick. So, so far in this project, I've finished a lipstick and a tinted lip balm. Um, I don't have any lip gloss left. I've actually decluttered all of my lip glosses, I believe. So, um, trying to use like at least one from each category by the end of the year. So gonna be working on a liquid lipstick. I've had this one in my collection for a while. Um, I feel like the color is suitable for this time of year. So yeah, gonna try and get some use out of that. Next thing I used up is my body lotion. So this is from Nivea. It is the Marshmallow Care in the scent Silk Flower. So yeah, these are just okay. They're not very moisturizing. I was I think I said last time I was really drawn in by the word marshmallow. It sounded very interesting to me, but mm, it's not the greatest. I wouldn't buy it again. I did buy another one at the same time I bought this one because they were different scents. So this one is Healing Citrus. I think that's what it says. Again, not the best at moisturizing. It's summertime now, so it's fine, but yeah, definitely would not buy those again. Next thing is this face lotion by Belief. This is the Aqua Bomb. I really like this. I think it's super moisturizing. It's really good for me in the summertime. Doesn't work the greatest in the winter, but during the summer, love that. I'm going to be replacing it with this eye cream from Belief. This is the Moisturizing Eye Balm. And this is how much is in there. Not a lot, so I could maybe get it done by next check-in. And the last thing I used up was my nail polish. So I was working on this e.l.f. nail polish in Smokin' Hot, this red color. I really like these e.l.f. nail polishes. And I'm going to be replacing it with this one. So this is another e.l.f. nail polish. It is in the color Coral Dream, so it's like a coral color. And it's all the way down to here. So I'm hoping I can probably get that done by next check-in, but we'll see. So let's move on to things I've made progress on. So let's start with the concealer. So I was working on this Too Faced Naturally Radiant Concealer. Doesn't really show any signs of being done and I can't really see anything when I hold it up to the light so I don't really know exactly how much is in it. I mean you can see like some scrape marks in the middle but yeah still going along with that. 
So for setting spray, I was working on this ColourPop All-Star setting spray. So this packaging is actually empty, but um, this one is full. I just filled it, so this is like completely full. I don't like the sprayer on this, so I've been putting it in this Tatcha bottle because I love the sprayer on this one. So next, let's look at my blush and bronzer. So I was working on the blush and bronzer from this Too Faced palette, and I hit pan on the bronzer. So exciting. And this was the blush I was working on. Honestly, it really doesn't look any different. I did use it a lot, but I don't know. So actually, this check-in is a refresh check-in. So I'm actually going to take out this blush and I'm not going to put a new one in because I feel like I change them every quarter. They don't look any different, so I'm just not going to bother anymore. So next let's look at my eyebrow pencil. I was working on this witch's pouch one. So last time I was up to here. So now I am there. So a little bit, a little bit of progress. Eye primer. I was working on the Urban Decay Shadow Insurance. So my last mark was here by the D. And honestly, I don't think it's really moved much. Um, I have been using it every day. It's just when I marked it, I felt like there was definitely product on the side. And now the there isn't really any product on the side, so like the line hasn't really moved, but yeah. So I still have some left there. So for eyeliner, I was using this Milani Eye Tech Extreme Eyeliner. Um, still going, there's no really way to mark it, but still going along with that. So I have this Avon Eye Crayon. Um, I haven't used it, didn't use it once, so. Yeah, there's that. Lip balm. I was using this Nivea Deep Moisture Lip Balm. So started up here and now I am down to there. So making steady progress. And for lip liner, I was using this Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in Hot Pink. Oh, I made a ton of progress. That's really good. So because it's the refresh, I'm going to be taking this out. Um, I finished my lip product, so um, this doesn't go with my new lip product. And I'm going to be replacing it with this Wet n Wild lip liner. So this is the Wet n Wild Perfect Pout Gel Lip Liner. So that's how much I have left of that. So for my fragrance, I was using this pink body spray in Pretty and Pure. I started all the way up here and now I'm all the way down here. I'm so excited. I can definitely have this done by next check-in. Um, I've been really good about reapplying it. I'm not usually someone who reapplies my fragrance, but you know, body spray usually only lasts two to three hours. so. I feel like this is an easy one to remember to reapply. And finally, I have my hair item. So this is a hair oil from OGX. It's the Renewing Plus Argan Oil of Morocco. Um, so I started here and now I am down to there. Um, I feel like my progress is going to be a little bit slower going forward because uh, my husband had also been using this, but he actually stopped using it because he bought his own hair oil. So it's just going to be me using this one now, but that's okay. I really like it, so that's fine. So that's everything. I'll see you next time. Bye!